everyone, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I am here with a crew review of a very exciting new machine. It is the E1 Prima from Victoria Arduino. This is a new high-end home machine or portable kind of commercial machine that could be used for catering events or a bar or just somewhere where there's small space but you still want to serve really high quality espresso. We're excited for this machine. We haven't seen a lot new in the home machine realm from either Nuova Simonelli or Victoria Arduino. So this is a great entry into that space and it's definitely gonna compete well against some of the options, which you'll see later on because we're gonna do some crew comparisons with this machine as well. Let's talk about what this machine is. So as you can see, it is a one group machine. You have your steam here and you have your hot water here. I'm gonna mention it right away because I know people are wondering. And this one is equipped with what they call their easy cream system. It's the auto steam wand system that they have. Um, it works well if you just want a latte or a cappuccino and you don't wanna do the work. Um, in my experience, a barista who knows what they're doing can do better than the steam wand. But if you want a high-end machine, machine at home, That'll just make automatic lattes and cappuccinos really easily and really well. This is, an, this is an option. It is an additional cost, but we'll have more info about that on our website. It actually adds an air compressor inside and you control it with this little dial right here, which you might not be able to see, but I wanna get that out of the way first because it definitely looks a little different than your standard steam wand. So this actually is a temperature probe and injects air. And then this is your steam wand over here. So it'll add foam and also stop at a certain level. And it's been around for a while on the Simonelli and Arduino machines. So it is a, a tested system. It's not brand new to this, but just wanted to cover that. It carries a lot of the design from their other machines, the Black Eagle and the Eagle One from Victoria Arduino with this kind of exposed group here and the three keys. This display also turns into a shot timer as you're going. Um, you can turn it off there. Um, you have two dose buttons and then a manual run button. So this is definitely a machine for somebody who likes aesthetics. And you have a what they're calling their steam by wire system. So this is not like a manual control, similar to the Lamarzoco Strata. You just click it on, click it off. So you can think of it as push for one setting, push for one setting, or push for one setting, pull for the other setting. So you do have two settings there, and then you also have two settings for your hot water. So you have two settings for temperature and then also for time, so similar. Um, that's actually the, the pump running to refill the boiler, which is a little bit louder than some other machines. So um, that was a little bit of a, a disappointment when I first used the hot water and then it refilled. I was like, oh, that's not the sound I wanna hear, but um, we haven't tried plumbing it in. This can be run on the reservoir or can be run plumbed in. The reservoir is pretty small compared to like some of the rockets. I think this is a sub two liter reservoir, which like some of the rockets, the Lamarzocos are two liters or more. Um, but it is a good system and it has this cool little door here. And also on this door, is where your serial number is and other info about the machine. So if you have a question about that, you're on the phone with somebody, your serial number is in there. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the programming, just the easy programming that you can do through this machine. A big part of the machine is the app portion of the machine, which will have a whole separate part of the review under, but to get into the programming for changing the temperature, for changing your volumetric programming, is you hold these two buttons for five seconds, and then, I didn't hold it long enough. Two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. 5,000, 5,000. Cool, I got it. So right now we're looking at the brew temp and it's adjusting in Celsius. So you can do increments of one degree and then a half. So that little slash right there means a half. So I'll put it at 93 and a half press the center button to save that, and that also shifts you to the next programming spot. So this DS means dose, 
So then you're programming each of these dose buttons. I programmed this single shot button earlier. Well, I mean single, you can program it for whatever you want, but I programmed it for my um, Velton's Bonsai blend. Um, and then once you click that, that's the auto back flush, the CL, it's the other cleaning cycle. So you can get most of the functions you need just from the interface here if you don't always want to be using the app but the app does have more unique features that you can control with this machine. So that's a quick overview of the machine. You do have a gauge here for your steam boiler pressure. Um, it does not have a gauge for the group head, but there is a measurement for that in the app. So if you're a person who wants to see the pressure you're brewing at, you can see that in the app. And then there's also a way to adjust the pump pressure down below here. Um, just right down here, there's a little knob that you can move around that adjusts the pump pressure. So you do have that ability. And then the power switch, the main power switch is over here on this side. Just turn it off, turn it back on. And you can see the barista lights came on when I powered it back on. And it'll go into kind of a standby mode here. So you'll just hold the middle button or continuous run button until it powers back on. Um, your two elements mean the water tank, like water is low, and then you also have the heating element um, indicator over here. Not sure why that's not reading, so let me do this and see if that fixes it. Did it do it? Well, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but I'm sure it'll go away. So the L or the hot water or the water reservoir light just tells you if you do or don't have water. It doesn't tell you how much water. Now that we've talked about some of that, um, let's talk about the accessories that it comes with real quick. I'll grab the box that those are in. Here are the accessories. So you do get a nice heavyweight tamper. It has the Victoria Arduino logo on it. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of the Rhino tampers. Not sure if that's what it is, but <clears throat> it is very heavy, not plastic. It's always a good thing you'd expect from this machine for sure. Um, you have uh, just kind of your info about the machine. And then this does come with the stuff you would need to plumb this in. So you have your adapter for the Euro connections um, and then a little braided line there as well. So you do get that. Um, right now, these aren't coming with the plumbable drip trays. Um, which is kind of a bummer because the drip tray is a little bit small. It's kind of shallow. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that. And there's some water in there. So you do want to empty it frequently. Um, in a little bit, these will have the ability to plumb in the drip tray. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, you also get this great uh, thing here. The use of hard, unfiltered water in this espresso machine will void your warranty and your espresso will not be as tasty. So I preach water quality to everybody I sell an espresso machine to. So I like that they include that. And then you also get this to tell you where to grab it. Don't grab it from the drip tray, grab it from the side. The center of gravity isn't out here. It's kind of somewhere in the middle of the machine. Um, you also have a quick start guide that just gives you everything you need to know right off the bat. Um, there is a manual as well. There it is. So this has all the more in-depth info on the app and the machine itself. And a couple different languages. And then you do get a good bit of cleaning supplies, so like a group brush. Um, you get something for your milk, for your coffee. It looks like... There is a hardness test kit in here as well, and you get a little cleaning towel, so that's nice. I have a double portafilter here, and then I have a single portafilter that also comes with it. These are the ones that have the leather handle, which um, do look really nice, but just make sure to care for these because it is leather, so it will wear over time. And then you also have some basket options. You have a more, like specialty coffee style double and then a more Euro style double with the curved bottom, whereas this one's more straight. And then you get your blank basket. And then in this, I also have a single basket. And then, and then 
In this basket, we do have a triple, uh, in this portafilter, we do have a triple basket. So you can fit a triple in this spouted portafilter here, which is nice. You could also get a bottomless portafilter, but this machine does not come with a bottomless as standard. But Simonelli does sell those. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and lock that. Get this all set up. Well, that covers a lot of the functions, the accessories and all that on this machine. Let's talk about the app because that's a big part of using this machine. So I'll pull out my phone and walk us through that. Okay, when you open the app, first you have to log in. So you can set up a profile with just an email, log in through Google, Facebook, just like you would normally. But this is the first page you'll see. So you have all these different kind of blocks of information here. And you can customize this by flipping over to the side and you can turn off different things. So like I just turned off power manager, machine clean and technical settings. Now when I go back, it looks a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna turn them all back on for the sake of this video, but that's where you land. So if I click on display, um, that just tells me what's going on with the machine. So I can see um, the group temp, I can see the time I've been brewing for, I can see the setting, uh, like what this is sensing temperature wise, I believe, Let's see if it goes up here. Yeah, so that's the temperature that this is sensing as I'm holding it. It's cold in this room, apparently. Um, I'm seeing the pump pressure, so the pressure at the group, and then that steam boiler pressure. This steam boiler does run at a higher pressure, so the steam pressure on this machine is really nice. You can froth very quickly with this, and I could even turn it up from where it's at right now if I wanted to. <clears throat> Go back that way. You also have keys and display. Um, sometimes with coffee apps, coffee machine apps, um, it, they don't load super fast. So it's not like something you're using every single day. It's not like Instagram, if you use that or any other app you use on your phone, but you can turn off the lighting. Um, and then, um, this will, the extend brewing time will just keep however long your shot pulled for up here for longer. So if I have it set at five seconds, after my shot stops, it'll keep that brew time up there for five seconds after. Um, I didn't save that, so I just went back. You can go here to water doses and you can change, uh, looks like the temperature and then also the, um, the time. So time key one is up, key two is down, and then go over here to temperatures. So as you can see, you have a lot of adjustability with this machine. So here's where I have that steam boiler setting. So I can go up to 2.5. I'm gonna keep it at 2.2. You can adjust your brew temp. Um, I'm gonna leave that where it was. <clears throat> I have the app set to Fahrenheit and the machine set to Celsius. I'm an American. I'm not great at Celsius. I'm sorry. You can also see how many shots have been pulled on the machine, which Every espresso machine or grinder has this. I really haven't met anyone who uses this. So if you are somebody who uses this, comment down below, because I want to hear. Um, you can see how much water has been run through the machine by how much the machine measures. So if you have a water softener or something like that, you could use it to track when you need to change your water filter. Uh, go back. And then power management, probably don't need to touch this. Um, the machine is optimized to split power between the steam boiler and the T3 system, which is, I can talk about that T3 system a little bit. There's a lot of content on that, but it's a heat exchanger in the steam boiler that runs into a micro boiler. And then there's a heating element at the group. So there's three points where the temperature is corrected and gives it very good temperature stability. Uh, but having that power management system means that you can make a lot of drinks back to back without having to worry about the machine needing to recover. The boiler is insulated. So this is really well thought out to be able to make a lot of drinks in a small format and still have stable brew temps. If I come here to machine clean, um, another fun thing, groups is misspelled in this app. So I'm sure at some point that'll be corrected, but this is the auto purge. So if you pull a shot and then remove the portafilter, 
See if it'll do it. I haven't pulled a shot. So let me just pretend I'm pulling a shot. Wait for this to run out. I'll stop that early. So after I remove this, it's gonna run for two seconds automatically and turn off. So that is an auto purge setting, which some machines have, and it is very nice to keep it clean. <clears throat> but just make sure you, you know you have that on so you don't burn yourself. You also have technical settings, which is password protected. The manual goes into more depth on what's in that uh, area. But um, Victoria Arduino, they did a good job of putting the things you need in the main part of the app without having to resort to the technical settings menu. So I, at first I was looking through it and couldn't find something and I was like, oh, of course, the setting I need is hidden in the technical settings, but it was actually the purge and it was hidden in the machine clean and I just hadn't clicked on it yet. So that's on me. Next, we do have the My Coffee portion of the app, which is cool. Um, in here, you'll see just whatever I have the machine set to, like those dose buttons and the temperature I have it programmed to. So I have it set to that 200.3 or you know, 93 and, 93 and a half degrees Celsius. Um, and then I have my dose settings. Programming to the milliliter on espresso machines, a lot of them talk about it. The rockets talk about it. This machine talks about it. I don't know how accurate that is. So I don't look at that too much. I program by volume, which is what the machine is, is kind of set up for. Obviously milliliter is a volume, but um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a whole different story. Um, and then we also have the um, easy cream settings down below there under key one and two with that little steam icon. And that's the machine recipe. But then we also have this my recipe portion, um, which I haven't delved into too much. But um, this is pretty cool because you can go in and then change your brew settings so you can change your dose in your dose out your shot time so that's like your estimates for what you're wanting to brew at and um, then you can change those same settings and then you can go in here and adjust what you thought about that recipe so if you try to coffee you could come in here and kind of log what you do or don't like about it and then you can share that with other people who have this app so uh, I think Akaya has a similar kind of brew log set up to this, but this is a unique setup that I haven't seen on espresso machines. If you know of another manufacturer that's doing this, like I said, just leave a comment down below, but then I can save that. And then I can set that to the machine and it will translate that and override the settings on the machine. So that's a cool setting. And then I also have, I'm going to go back um, the cloud recipe. So this is other people who are using uh, this machine and settings that they have. So all the ones that they've uploaded, I could choose to upload my recipe if I wanted to. Um, it's pretty cool. So like there you have Andre is in there. Um, Dale is in there. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of cool recipes and connection you can do with other people around the world. Um, last but not least, we have the settings. So there you have your user profile, um, jump back here. And then you also have the machine, language, temperature unit, the you know about section, which is just the firmware set version on the machine and feedback. Uh, but anybody can download this app and, and look at it. So if you really want to, or just dream about your machine, you can download this app. Well, that covers that. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Now we're gonna make some drinks so you can actually see this in action. So like I said earlier, I have the Velton's Bonsai Blend, Bonsai Bonsai, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've been watching a lot of Cobra Kai and I think he says Bonsai. But I've been dosing about 20 grams with this. Um, and I have the Atom Specialty 75 that I'm using with this machine, which would be a killer combo at home or for catering or something. 3.1 seconds is my time. It's a little short. So I'm gonna get a little more and that's probably gonna be too much. 
cool, 19.8, that'll do. Shake that out, tap it out. That's clean. I know some people make fun of my tamping technique, but it works. This is a 58 millimeter tamper, so it's not oversized like I prefer. And I know a lot of specialty coffee folks prefer. Uh, so it does leave kind of that ring around the edge, but you could pretty easily just purchase an oversized one. Check my tamp, I'm good. And lock it in place here. And I'm gonna split this into a little cappuccino cup and an espresso dimitas, tear that. And let's get to brewing. So as you can see, it is counting up here. And I think it'll drop around 10 seconds. There we go. And then I had this program to stop around 50 grams out. So we'll see how close that was to my recipe that I programmed in. And I was in like the mid to high 20s. So how are we looking? We're a little short, about 46, probably because my Maybe coffee dose was a little short. Okay, there's that. Um, I'll grab some milk and I'll show you the easy cream system uh, so you can see that in action. All right, let's purge. And then I'm just gonna sink this in here, press start. So if you hear that humming, I'm not sure if you can, but that is the air compressor adding air in and it'll stop at a certain point. Stir my espresso while that's going. I don't know what temperature that's at, but that is going to be a really hot drink. Taste this first. That's what I like about that coffee. Yeah, that's one of my like go-to espressos. Um, especially if maybe somebody isn't too into specialty coffee yet, but they want something to try out. Um, this Velton's is pretty tasty. It's got a lot of like fruit in the front of it. So it has some like that stone fruit, like maybe like a nectarine or something, but then also has some citrus, some caramel, some chocolate. So really good. Tasty with milk as well my cheat here for better latte art. Let's see what we can do. This milk is a little thin because I have that at the lowest setting. That means the least amount of foam. And there we go. A messy little tulip. Set that down. Can you tell I've had a lot of coffee today? And I hope I don't burn myself on this because it sounded like it was pretty hot. Cup doesn't feel too hot, but I'm going in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, for not a lot of work, that is hotter than I would drink my latte. It's probably like a 155 around there. But you can dial this in to be at whatever temperature you like. So if you're somebody who wants a high-end machine that's really simple, you can ask us about this auto steaming system, but for most of us, you're just gonna run this steam wand manually. So I figured I would make a second drink here and just show you um, how I was using this manually and show you what that looks like as well. So I'll reset and make another drink real quick here. I'm all set to make a little cappuccino. So I'll go ahead and get going here. And if I just go kind of sideways on the steam wand, can run it manually like a normal steam wand. That's enough temp for me. As I hurt myself. Do a little pitcher transfer. All right, now let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it looks good. It's 
Sweet. Little Rosetta. That was a big shot of espresso, so I didn't have a ton of room in the pitcher there, but you can see my milk texture is definitely better in my opinion than it was with the uh, easy cream setup there. So I'm guessing that most people are probably gonna order this without the auto steam wand, but it is nice to have that as an option. So uh, just showing you both ways you can run this machine. Alrighty. Well, if you've stuck around even till now, thank you for watching the full video. This is a big video for a new machine that we're excited about. If you have questions on it, leave a comment down below. Once this video goes live, I'll check the comments for a couple days after and just make sure to answer anything that you have down there. You can always call us, um, our number's on the website, and we'll have a link to the product below as well. If you wanna see our upcoming crew comparisons with this machine, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and you'll see when we post new videos. Um, if we grow, that helps us make more content for you. So we definitely appreciate that. And make sure to, yeah, just check out this machine on all our social media and the website. Thank you again for watching. We appreciate it and have a great rest of your day.